And we continue now with our great American panel. All right, tax cheat Tim Geithner. He's on with Katie Kirk. Let's roll the tape. <laughs> Will you exert even more influence in the future if these CEOs aren't managing their businesses properly? You know, recovery here in our economy as a whole depends on a financial system that's doing a better job of providing credit. We want banks to go back to the business of making sure they're providing the credit that, you know, families and businesses need to invest in the future. And we're going, well, we have to provide assistance to make that possible. Again, we're going to make sure we do that on, on conditions to protect the taxpayer, provide the kind of accountability you, that the American people want. And again, the test should be what's going to make these institutions stronger. So you leave the option open to actually pressure a bank CEO to resign? Of course. Of course. Right, so as the only socialist on the panel, you want... Oh, well, first of all, look, I, I'd like to make something clear, OK? All right, go ahead. I ahead. wouldn't be here if I didn't what? agree with some of the things that you say. Like, for I example... I think if you're too far left or too far right, you're just as bad I as think that's each a, other. I think that's a bumper you sticker. Have to be, I think no. that's a platitude. OK, look, it's a I bumper you... sticker. So is saying, oh, you're a socialist. Here's my that's question. That's a bumper no, sticker, it's too. Not. Let yes, me explain. It is. Come on now, Daniel Sean. Hannon from the you're European Parliament... You're not serious. Parliament. I know you. No, I'm very serious. Daniel Hannon was just on saying, don't do what we did in Great Britain. Don't socialize medicine. Don't nationalize, you know, private companies. Let capitalism ring. And you, you're saying you don't care if we give our kids ten trillion dollars. No. Uh, when you, did I say you that? You said, how, how dare no, I attack Obama? I'm so, no. I'm. First of all, he's our president now, and he's going to be our president for the next so four what? years. So what? He's wrong. So yes, he can be wrong, yeah. but. This attitude that you have yes. is only going to divide us. We have to come together okay, and so find I must, solutions. I, I can't be critical or else I of will course, divide the country. Of Let course Jesse you can talk. be critical. I wonder, I wonder if you felt that way during President Bush's term. It's funny I mean, they went say after that. President Bush from day one. It's funny you should say and that. And when they went him, after they called him, him all types what were they of names. Called? They, I mean, Jesse, I, it was the a liar. Worst. Jesse. Did, you say, okay. did you say, oh, we should time unite out. together <laughs> and let's get along? Did you say that? I feel like this isn't helpful. I feel like nobody's talking about anything. I would like to say one thing. When people attack Bush, they were it's unpatriotic, That's right? That's not true. Yes, no, it that's is. That's not true. Yes, it Wait is. They, could, they said, they said the surge lost, the, the uh, war was lost, the yeah. surge failed. But why do you, th you think this, this is where America is right now? Americans don't want socialism. They're angry. They're going to be showing up at tea parties, and they think that we are headed down the wrong road. Why shouldn't we speak out? I think you're absolutely right to speak out. I think that screaming at each other isn't particularly helpful, and no, no facts no, are coming a, to light. This, this is a discussion. All right. Sean, I think that Obama is the worst thing that can happen to America, and we're making a big mistake by allowing him to take over, you know, these businesses, uh, uh, General Motors and other businesses, because if we allow this to happen, this guy is serious about what he's doing. Oh, he's I agree a, with you. The Messiah is a far-left social right, liberal. Let me, let me move on. Russ Limbaugh is right about him, by the way. These companies went to him and asked him to do this mistake. for them. Uh, well, they sold part that, of their no, company no, but they for never the said right. They wanted them to seize right. companies, determine pay, and rescind retroactively the money they've we already given. We don't know that. We haven't even seen the contract. Of the no uh, let me to give you the last topic here. University of Maryland Student <laughs> Union was going to run a porn film for students. <laughs> I've got a problem with it. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you are this is on very MTV. Funny. You, what's so funny about it? Do you want your kids? You send your kids to college to watch pornography? I think they're doing Do you, are you anyway. telling me you've never watched pornography? I don't watch pornography. Never. You've never in your life oh, watched pornography. The when you only. were in college, <laughs> when you were in college, did you never what? watch pornography? I don't Honestly, watch pornography. I do what? not believe Michelle, you. I'm telling you the liberal, truth. liberals love to corrupt the hearts and minds yeah. of the children, I'm so, so that when they grow of age to vote, they vote for the Democrats. So I that's what you're talking about. I think it has nothing to do with the Democrat or Republican. Exactly. I think that no, it does. The bad ideas don't seem as bad until they hit Fox News, and then it seems like a really horrible idea, and they've decided to cancel the screening, which is the right thing to do. Why? It's a free country. It's a free country. They're adults. But why college? The taxpayers why aren't school? paying. They did it after school? school. They've aired first Oh, after school aired. activities. Okay. Listen. All right, so they have to school extracurricular activities. They don't see porn. Republicans they can doing it. Big deal. Come on. You don't see Republicans on. trying to corrupt young children as liberals. They're, they're behind this because Are you a virgin, one day, Jesse? One day, what does it have to do with... Are you a virgin? What does it have to do with... Are you? Do you want to answer? Yeah, are you a virgin? No, I'm, of course I'm not. Oh, You're thank not. you. All right. No. Now we know. All right. No, but but the thing is, I'm getting no out of this wrong. before somebody asks me, but I do have two children. All right. Now. <laughs> you can be a all born again, though. All right. All right. Now, don't, that's, I don't believe that, actually. Now, don't forget, we want to, uh, we want you to send us your tax day party videos via our webpage, foxnews.com. Uh, we also want to issue a correction. Now, last night we revealed the incorrect winner of the Obama puzzle, and, uh, well, after going back to our blog and checking the post, we got this. We want to announce that the actual winning guess of Hillary and Bill and Chelsea and the slogan more of the same. It came from a viewer named Jeff. And Jeff, let
Let Not Your Heart Be Troubled. We'll send you the books personally signed by me. And thanks to all of our viewers for going to our blog and bringing this to our attention. We admit a mistake. We are sorry. And thank you again for your posts, and please keep them coming. And by the way, your ideas, even your criticisms of her. Um, <laughs> and uh, before we go, by the way, just another reminder about our special shows coming up on April 9th. We have our six ideas to save America. People say, well, where are the positive solutions? That also includes an interview with Jeb Bush, his first since leaving office. Then our April 15th, we'll be broadcasting from a tea party in Atlanta, our tax day show. I'll be there in Atlanta where one of the dozens of tea parties around the country will be going on. And we hope you'll be watching. By the way, John Rich, a big and rich is going to be performing. So you want to come to Atlanta if you can. That is all the time we have left this evening. Thank you for being with us. But let not your heart be troubled. The news continues. Greta Van Susteren standing by to go on the record. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Thanks for being with us.